Today we're going to check out the Filament Friday E-Leveler version 2. What's up everyone, Chris here. This year at the Midwest Rep Rap Festival, I got to spend some time hanging out with my buddy Chuck Hellebuck. He's on YouTube as well. He has the Chep YouTube channel that he does Filament Friday every week. He gave me one of his E-Bed Levelers. This is version 2. I've never had the chance to use one of these before, but that's what we're going to do today. We're going to check it out. We're going to use it as it's intended to level our bed. It's a pretty handy little PCB with a few tricks up its sleeve. You might think it's super easy, but it's a lot more complicated than you think. And from what I hear, they work great. So let's get started and check this thing out. So when you purchase one of these, this is what you're going to get. Now it does come in a fancy box, but of course I ripped it open as soon as I got it and I lost the box. But you do get some information on a card here, including a QR code on how to use this. There's a video available. As well as there's a QR code on the back that has the same information in case you don't have this card, which I thought was a nice touch. Now on the upgraded version, they've done some badging, they've changed the color, swapped out to another LED that's a little brighter, switched to a metal battery holder. I hear that was an issue on the first one, so that's been resolved. And the real trick here is this switch. Now, when I say these are more complicated than you might think, you just see a PCB here with a light, a battery, and a switch. These aren't complicated to use at all, but with this switch, getting one that's sensitive enough to trigger, as this one does when you're trying to level, is not as easy as you might think. Knowing Chuck as I do, he's tried several different configurations trying to get this to work as good as possible. So let's just see how easy it is to get set up and our bed leveled with this handy little tool. So to try out this E-Leveler, I have pulled out one of my old Ender 3s here because it's going to work really good on a manually leveled bed. But even if you have ABL, automatic bed leveling, and you have a sensor, and you have knobs on your bed, you're going to have to get that level roughed in before that ABL is going to work correctly. So this can still be really helpful. And the process you do to set the Z offset to allow for the sensor is pretty clever. And that's what we're going to run through. And remember, the QR code on the instruction sheet and the unit itself will take you to CHEP's website where you have files and a video here that shows you how to do this whole thing. You do have some Z offset work here, but the G code files that are available handle all that for you. But I'm still going to walk you through how this actually works. So we'll download the zip file. And when you extract everything, you have some different bed size options. Just pick the one that's closest for you. We've got the Ender 3 today, so we're going to go for the 220-220. And these are the G-code files you need to help the leveler get set up. It just runs the commands for you, gets you around to the spots on the bed that you need to go to, and then there's a test G-code that you can actually print with. So we'll just grab these two and put them on our SD card. So I have the code on my SD card. I went ahead and loaded it. But before we run it, let's just explain real quick about what's going to happen. We've got our E-Leveler. Now, it's going to be a little higher off the bed than zero. In fact, it's 5.7 millimeters. That's where this offset comes in. With Chuck's G-Code, he just raises to 5.7 at four spots on the bed. He holds each one for 20 or 30 seconds and then moves on to the next one to give you a chance to use your leveler. That's by far the easiest way to get this done because not every 3D printer is going to have offset available. You won't have manual mesh leveling on every screen. But that G code is very simple and should work for almost every machine. If you had your own mesh leveling, these are built in, some of them inside Marlin, to do all the corners for the level or have a bed leveling sequence. If you wanted to use that for some reason, you would just set your offset to that 5.7 during that sequence so you could use your leveler and then set it back to wherever you had it before. For a manual level like this, it should be zero. Just note you have that option, but these G-codes make things so much easier. Also remember too, I wouldn't put any filament in the machine when you're doing this process, and don't turn on the nozzle or the bed heat. So now, let's start our G-code and we'll run through the sequence. There's our 220-220 E-Leveler G-code. It's gonna auto home, run to the first spot. We'll put our E-Leveler underneath there, Get it lined up with the nozzle in the circle, right over that switch, and we'll adjust our knob. You want the knob adjusted just so the light barely comes on, and try to maintain that same setting for all the knobs. 
So this one right here is pretty good. It's going to give you a couple of seconds here and then it's going to move to the next spot and we'll do the same thing. You want to try to maintain that same setting. Just barely have the LED come on. Our third corner, we've got it about the same. And our fourth corner. There's even a nice graphic on the top of this to tell you which way to turn the knob to go up or down. Handier than you might think. And then your level. From here, we'll preheat and get loaded up with some PLA. And then we can run that second G-code. Filaments loaded. Now we can go ahead and kick off that second G-code that we loaded on our SD card. Chuck's square bed test. And hopefully, we'll have the perfect first layer. We get a tone before the test starts. It does the traditional Cura prime line over there on the left. And the first layer is looking pretty good. You can tell that this G-code was written for an original Ender 3 because it does these huge retracts where I have direct drive here with this NG. So it's not doing so good in the corners. That's really not the point. We're just checking out to see what the first layer looks like. And it's going down nice and smooth. Now you might not get this in the first take. You might have to go back and run the leveling sequence one more time. And this process would be paired really well with baby stepping. The E-Leveler is going to get you the bed level and your offset pretty close. But if you had baby stepping, you could adjust that offset to adjust the amount of squish that you're going to get. Just a thought. And aside from the retraction issues you can see here in the corner, like I said before, not meant for this direct drive, the first layer looks really good. It's nice and even all over the bed. Having only run through the leveling sequence one time with the leveler, I think it did a really nice job. Again, you could add a little bit more squish with some baby stepping, or just run through that process one more time and get it just right. So there it is, the E-Leveler 2. It's a nice to have in your toolbox to help you try to dial in your bed level. Of course, it's not going to fix every little bed leveling issue, but it is going to help guide you to get a completely level plane, and then you can adjust the squish from there. There could be a lot of other bed problems involved here, like it being warped, that you're not going to be able to get close even with a tool like this. But back in the day, we liked to use a piece of paper as a feeler gauge, and you grew to know how that felt, how tight that nozzle needed to be on the paper to get a good, nice, even first layer. This takes all the guesswork out of that. And Chuck is really focused on the beginning 3D printer user and getting them up and printing quickly. And this is a great to have in that exact scenario. So definitely check it out. Thanks again, Chuck, for letting me try out this sensor. That is it for today, and I'll see you really soon on the next one. I also tried to make a bit of a bed leveling test myself.